For those of you who are wondering just how we get well, how the waste that, that we leave off every day goes down from our toilets into the into the pipes to the uh, to the methanol plant here. It says ethanol plant, but it's actually a methanol plant because basically it's got a lot of methane in it from the waste. And it's very handy. We do it from yeah. You know, we do it from um, cattle all the time at our farms. If you see how it works, the waste enters the plant in brown, then as it heats up it becomes orange and then yellow, and it goes into these trucks and all these cars at the end, you'd be surprised. Here when it gets um Yeah, that's how it oh. So I'll show you some more. Yeah, and, yeah. What happens? Well, the, the yellow part is where um where you see the that some stuff you know like some grease or something is added to the waste. It kind of makes it a little more sufficient. It helps it work better. Watch the play again, and you'll see. See, we got the incomings, the refining, the grease added. Disposal, and then we, and then our vehicles. At the end, you see that all these vehicles once ran on, on the stuff we ate long ago that our bodies gave up. And then, what do you know? And it makes it a lot easier. There's always going to be more of that where it came from. Even in, even in a couple decades when the world runs out of the kind of gasoline you pump out of the ground. We'll still always have um have our own ways to reuse in vehicles, and it'll make it a lot easier. The prices would probably go down lower. In fact, um, in fact, a lot of our jet airplanes could probably run on on, on cattle's um gas discharges. The gas discharges from the from the cattle usually put out a lot of methane gas, and when they do, they it's really not supposed to get in the air. That way, with the with the waste thing on there, it, it holds that, it, and it carries it over. And I'll tell you, they make just enough to power an airplane that could fly halfway around the world. And, well, that's one of the neatest things. Yeah, we can get out of it. It probably won't be half as expensive to um, to you to use transportation at all. I mean, there's our our gas tanks will only have hydrogen and methanol, and and I don't and maybe instead of using dollars and gallons, which often come up pretty small numbers, we can have euros and liters, which come in large numbers, and it could be very easy to make the payment. Then you wouldn't have to have to be sorry that you lost your money to to so much gasoline all the time. You could probably make it. Probably won't have half as high a fuel cost anymore. Be a lot easier. It's kind of the way it seems to work around here.